Welcome to the Gould's Water Technology video training series. In this episode, we're going to talk to you about using your ohm meter to troubleshoot submersible motors. First, make sure there is no power to the motor. Ohm meters are designed to measure resistance in ohms and do so without power applied. Ohm meters may be analog or digital. Analog ohm meters, such as the Simpson 372, have an adjustable scale which must be set prior to taking the measurement. In addition, they may contain a dial to zero out the meter. Digital meters, such as the Fluke 1587, have auto-ranging features. Therefore, there is no need to manually adjust the scale prior to the measurement. The Fluke 1587 does not allow the meter to be zeroed out. To measure line-to-line -line resistance. First, determine the motor model number. If you don't have the model number, you can look it up by the voltage, horsepower, phase, and wire configuration. Next, look up the line-to-line -line resistance specification of the motor in ohms using the MADE manual or the pocket service manual. Again, ensure there is no power to the motor. First, measure the resistance of each line-to-line. -line. Compare the actual value to specified values. Use the pocket service manual to determine what your results mean. If all ohm values are normal, the motor windings are neither shorted nor open, and the cable colors are correct. If any one ohm value is less than normal, the motor is shorted. If any one ohm value is greater than normal, the winding or the cable is open, or there is a poor cable joint or connection. If some ohm values are greater than normal and some less, the leads are mixed. Be sure to add resistance of your drop cable when checking the pump in the well. See the cable resistance table in the pocket service manual for reference. To measure line to ground resistance with a basic digital ohm meter, first, ensure there is no power to the motor. Measure the resistance between each of the leads to ground. This meter will show OL or open lead if the motor has no connection between the power lead and to ground. This is a good motor. A bad motor will show a very small resistance value between the power leads and ground. To measure line to ground resistance with a digital insulation resistance meter, or MEGER, again, ensure there is no power to the motor. First, set the appropriate DC voltage on your meter. Use 500 volts DC for our Gould's water technology products. Then, measure the resistance between each of the leads to ground. Compare the actual measurements to the normal ohm and megohm values chart in the pocket service manual and determine the meaning of the results.